Hi there and welcome to this Making Woodwork For You session on creating CNC files directly from Woodwork for Inventor. My name is Graham Mansfield and I'm with Microconcepts. So you get the situation where typically customers will utilise Woodwork for Inventor's auto plot drawing bundle facility to, to create engineering drawings. The actual drawings that go down to production, Not we're not talking about creating architectural style um, sign off drawings in this instance. So when you want to create these manufacturing drawings, generally the system comes with some out of the out of box templates. There's um, several that you can choose from, as you can see, and those templates themselves will output something typical, which will give you typically on maybe one sheet or multiple sheets, uh, either the overall assembly file with multiple orthographic views and also the um, individual piece part drawings and they're generally fairly detailed so by default these templates are set with pretty much all the options switched on and that means then you can obviously going play around with some of the settings to to get some different outputs so i was playing the other day based on a customer query you know how could we create some cnc output files and they were after a single drawing that or dxf in this case that would absolutely cover all of the panels they weren't interested in some of the uh, components so the ironmongery etc and some of the extrusions they were just wanting the actual panel profiles themselves and that so they could then uh, post process those further down the line uh, using their cnc software so let's have a look this is um, one of the cabinets that uh, you may have seen before i've been working with to introduce some other sessions and Typically what we have is we have a typical 3D model and, and this is the sort of typical output that you'd get typically from, um, from Inventor. So looking at the drawing views themselves, this drawing bundle has been created with sheet one is the overall uh, orthogra orthographic views and then we've got different variations on output which have automatically been created as a, as a drawing bundle. So we just have a look here on this particular option we've got all the whole table information because the carcass has been um, literally sculpted so every whole position has been included we're also denoting the actual paint colors or the material cover covering so edge edge banding and um, grain direction and overall size and annotation and datums etc multiple views all quite a lot of information um, something we're not interested in, in the actual fact, what we want to do is we want to break down and get a really raw drawing file that we can simply spit out to our uh, CNC, uh, CNC software. Okay, so if we pop to um, back to the uh, to the assembly, what we can do is we can pop to the auto plot in the ribbon and I'm just going to open up the original, um, or select the original template that we had earlier. So. All I'm going to do is right click on that and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste a copy of that. So I've got a duplicate and I'm just going to rename that so it makes life easy. Template for CNC. So nothing great there. So template for CNC is the uh, option. So, you know, generally the way forward would be to, um, to move to taking 3D parts and processing them in a CNC machine and we've got some great tools coming um, online later but today what we've got here is the 2d drawing that we've just set and we need to go and open that directly in this window and I'm just going to edit the uh, actual uh, name of it just so it reminds me I just did a control a there to hide every to, to highlight everything and I'm just going to set that to to CNC I can play around with the size of this sheet and um, because I'm really wanting to cover off everything at a scale of one to one so everything's not gonna gonna fit on the sheet but that's not gonna be a big issue when we go to DXF or DWG because DXF or DWG will just ignore the actual profiled area uh, that we uh, that we have in inside of um, Inventor it, it'd be an issue if we wanted to print it directly from Inventor but we don't we, we want the core geometric geometry so all I need to do now is an, a couple of other steps and uh, the first is to to strip this down so just expanding out in the browser here I want to just delete the uh, drawing um, sheets that we have and um, any drawing borders as well um, we want to create 
so we want to delete um, currently in the actual se session so really I'm just deleting what I haven't got enabled and here we go so we just want to strip it back to to its rear its raw raw format the next thing would be to pop to the woodwork design ribbon and go into the auto plot setup here and just literally um, play around with some of these settings so it doesn't matter what you do um, as soon as you save one of the settings within the auto plot dialog box it will remember that it retains it within that particular template so what we're going to do is we're going to make lots of changes here but don't be worried you can always go back to the previous template so if you want to have different variations of template by all means save them make copies um, and you can then have these different configurations and very quickly get very quick different results from from your output so there's two areas here the views we've got the assembly view we've got the part view and we're actually interested in the part view and the key thing here is to remember straight away what do we want to output we want to output basically the plan view I don't want any side views and I want to remove the fact it's going to be a visualized shaded um, view I want to make sure it is actually a hidden it's just basically a hidden view I'm also going to be interested in switching the auto scale to a scale of one to one because we want it to be fully scaled we want those profiles to be uh, as they should be and it's important to realize it's taking um, the base view orientation on the assembly view here um, yeah so that's that as front but you can play around with that just as a side comment here um, whilst we're, we're talking about orientation and talking about this view composition here um, okay so the next area would be to think about the gaps between the views so you can play around with those um, and we'll, what we'll do is I'll just make a few changes and then we'll output and we'll see what we get um, we should be hurt and see we should be home dry so the next area would be to look at the actual output area bundles so by default in this example because we've chosen this particular template each component goes to a separate sheet at the moment it could be that each component went to a separate file that was one of the other options that we have but in actual fact I want to change it to this one I want to change it to each component to the same sheet and you'll see the preview updates and I need to make sure that I include only the relevant information that I want on that sheet and the CNC guy has told me he's not interested in any uh, solid uh, bits of timber in this output but it could include it and he's not interested in any uh, profiled extrusions he's not interested in any ironmongery parts and he's not interested in any assembly components so I can just simply remove the assembly the, the, the parts the rods and the solids and just concentrate on the boards the laminated boards multi-layer boards and a couple of desktops if there were desktops in in that or design so that's pretty much we're good to go in that area um, when we're looking at multiple components on the sheet again we can play around with how they're they're laid out and we can play around with their positioning um, directly here so you can see when we create one file next to another but um, what we so the yeah values of E and F are, are important um, but I'll leave those at 16 millimeters but what is key is you got to think about if you want everything on one sheet you've got to think about the size of the object that you're creating uh, so if it was a large wardrobe and it's got panels that are two or three meters long um, and they're sitting in the horizontal then again you can play around with the orientation again but again I've got this set to horizontal I would think about the columns and I'd probably bump that up to say maybe five and then I would probably think about well how many rows what do I want and you might say well I don't know because it's almost it's almost like it's nesting it but it's not it's not optimizing it but it is laying it out like a nest so what I'm going to say here is I'm probably going to go I'm going to ask for 10 it doesn't help it doesn't hurt to be over cautious you can just put in as many uh, rows as you like okay and there are some other options but we're not interested in the part and assembly tab at this stage and then what we want to do is we want to think about now what we want to annotate onto the sheet so if we go to the label and sheet templates it's this area that we can then play around with what we want to place on the drawing sheet so you can see straight away some of the options have got do not plot because we've already set that 
Um, but in actual fact, what we've got here is we've got veneering. So we don't want to plot any veneering information on the on the raw CNC. We don't want any edge banding. We don't want any paint information. We don't want any whole table information um, from the whole coordinate system. So we don't want the, the, the datum. Or maybe we do want the datum. So again, you know, you can toggle that, have that on or toggle it off. We could then simply switch to the final table, which would be the range box and covers. Um, and then again, part size range box contour. The actual contour that goes round, that actually sizes and puts the dimensions on, don't want that. Um, veneering, again, all the coloring, don't want that. Edge bending, don't want that. Paint, again, don't want that. So we can just select what we're not interested in highlighting. Just want raw draw geometry, in effect, just the profile and the, the actual whole detail information within. Um, but just as well, just to check that we've got our whole so table switched off. So place whole table automatically will switch that off as well. So we're pretty much good to go. So what do I do? I save my changes. Got to save your changes, otherwise you'll lose all that work that you've just set up. And that's now saved my little CNC file away uh, for, for future use. Shut it down, back to my assembly, and let's do the auto plot. Let's see what we get. So we're gonna go template for CNC, that's correct. So start the plot and it'll ripple through and create me a new drawing file that contains all the information I need. That's done it in a few seconds there. I'm just gonna open that up. And straight away, you can see I've got just one sheet. But as I said, you know, the actual, I believe it was an A3, I think, was the actual profile. And I can play around with obviously editing the sheet size, but it's not going to make any difference. But here they are. Um, here's the information that I want with all the um, profiles um, laid out on that particular sheet. So the key thing now is just to effectively uh, save a copy out as, and in this case, I'm going to take it out as a. DXF, um, so I can say that cupboard master DXF. So I've taken that out. So all I've got to do now is pop into AutoCAD just to check it. So here we are in AutoCAD. So all I've got to do now is go and open up the cupboard master DXF and straight away just double click to orientate everything, and everything looks good. So we've got the hidden line information. Um, we've still got the symbology on there for the grain direction just to make sure that the, the guy knows um, but we've just got the raw profile information as you can see I'll just do a regen on that um, we've got the full um, information directly um, smoothed out so yeah it's proper geometry it's all ready to go and you can do what you like you can then move that forward and, and process that by importing it directly into your CNC processing software. So hopefully that was useful. Um, thanks for watching today. And if you wanna follow me on any of the social media, um, hopefully you'll follow my blog. Hope you found it useful and have a great day. Thanks for watching now. Cheers now, bye.